Hi everyone, welcome to Lotus Goddess. Hope everyone's doing well and staying safe at this time. Um, so I will be pulling out some charms and please keep in mind that this is a general reading. It's not a private reading, okay? It may or may not resonate with you. And we'll see what the angels would like to say and begin, okay? So in this reading, um, there's a mixture of different energies here. Um, so I, I'm just going to do one, one, um, one at a time because there's a lot of information in this reading. Uh, so what I see here is that um, in regards to any kind of um, past situations, when it has to do with low vibrational energy, negative people, um, karmic people, anything like that, the divine, the divine, the angels are saying here, let us handle it. We are, we are looking at this, right? We are taking care of this. Like basically in a good way, they're saying now it's time for you to step aside. Let us step in. Okay. So that's what's happening. And it's very short. It's just a very quick message in that part. Um, Another thing I see here is that um, the divine is talking about um, the divine masculine. Um, it's showing that the divine masculine is extremely tired and exhausted. It shows that there are things that even the divine feminine is unaware of. It's not shown to divine feminine. Uh, this divine masculine, he's, he's quite drained and he's being pulled down. In many ways um, I feel like he's still unable to see certain things that are going on in his life and if the divine feminine were to come face to face with the divine masculine at this point in his life they will not only sense the energetic level as being low vibrational energy they will also see it in the divine masculine the divine masculine is He's a mess. Divine masculine, he I see that there's some sort of bondage here. Uh, there's something pulling him down. And he's still not ready. He's still not ready, okay? Uh, It's just showing that there's still an immaturity in this divine masculine spiritually. Like he, is, he hasn't evolved yet. Okay. So it's just it's just showing a little bit of information energy on the dark um the darkness within the divine masculine's life and what he's experiencing at this time that is not being shown in the physical, revealed to divine feminine. There's a lot of things that are hidden from Divine Feminine. 
um, regarding this Divine Masculine. And that's just for him to go through those life lessons. He needs to uh, learn, it, learn it on his own. And uh, to be honest, I don't think the Divine Feminine needs to even know. Like who wants to know any any kind of drama or anything going on with Divine Masculine. It's better that he just deals with it himself. Um, why put yourself in that low vibrational energy? Why? It's better not to know, right? Not knowing is, is better for you. And the Divine is purposely not revealing these things to Divine Feminine. I mean, I can, I can see more in here, but the Divine is... The Divine is guiding me not to say uh, the details of what's happening with the Divine Masculine because it's going to interfere with the growth of the Divine Feminine. And the angels are saying push that Divine Masculine aside. It's just to sh to let us know that there is stuff happening behind, behind closed doors um, that Divine Feminine is unaware of. But we really don't need to know the details of it. Just let him live his life. And let him deal with that that lesson, that life lesson. So now with the Divine Feminine. Divine Feminine. Uh, I can see Divine Feminine is really growing strong. She has the protection of the angels. What I feel is that at this time. I see, the, like, what I'm visualizing is this angel halo. You know this halo right here around this angel's head? This halo is not only protecting the divine, right? The divine um, masculine or the divine feminine. It's protecting everyone at this time. I see that halo protecting all of us and... There's information here about um, having strength at this time um, because there is going to be some sort of balance restored. Um, there's protection from the divine as well. And it's showing that we need to continue to walk our uh, path. That whatever we do at, at this moment in our life, it's just moving us forward, moving the divine forward, the divine counterparts forward. It's showing that the divine masculine, divine feminine will always be connected. They're always intertwined. It doesn't matter um, what is happening now in the 3D, in the physical between the Divine Mask and Divine Feminine, they're always connected in the 5D. When Divine Feminine does their work, their spiritual work, and many Divine Feminines are doing their spiritual work, I see some of the Divine Feminines have made it. They've made it to that Empress, like the highest form. I don't know what to call it. I'll just call it Empress, but I mean the highest, the best version of yourself as a Divine Feminine. Like you have been crowned as the highest form of divine feminine. There are some divine feminines out there who really pushed forward. They've. It's not that they, um, they are angry at divine masculine or they hate divine masculine because there's no such such thing as hate. You cannot hate a divine counterpart, right? That's an that's another topic that. There's, there's a few things that are happening here. That's another topic on its own. The word divine, right? Let's focus on the word divine. Divine is heavenly. It's godly. It's unconditional love, right? The word hate cannot exist in a divine connection. That's contradicting. That's the opposite of unconditional love. And this Divine Feminine who has become the best, best version of herself, we'll just call it an Empress. I feel like she has been crowned. She has been crowned, whoever this resonates for. She has 
love the divine masculine she is loved and she has released the idea of um the outcome the expectation and she's continued to move forward and she's excelled in her life what i see in this reading she has no attachment whatsoever to the outcome or even to the divine masculine in the 3d she has accepted that she's already has this connection with divine masculine in the 5d and she continued to move forward in her life. She is doing her mission work on her own in the 3D. And Divine Masculine, he is also working on himself. Doing his own work in the 3D. They still have that love for each other. They still care for each other, but they're just li living separate lives. At this time, whoever this resonates for. I see in this reading that Divine Feminine, um, she is starting to really care for herself. She's starting to speak up for herself. I see that Divine Feminine here, she's standing up for herself. And I feel like if I don't do it, who will? That's what I feel. If I don't stand up for myself, who will? And in the past, I feel she, she, she felt that Divine Masculine would be the one to stand up for her. And when the Divine Masculine did not, when they... They didn't stand up for Divine Feminine at the time when she needed it the most. That's when Divine Feminine learned to stand up on her own to protect herself. To not rely on anybody to stand up, to take a stand for herself. That she knows now, the only person that can take a stand for me is me. I feel like in some cases, the Divine Feminine has already called out the Divine Masculine, meaning called him out, meaning like she confronted Divine Masculine and she showed who she is as a Divine Feminine power. Like she stood her ground and she showed her strength to Divine Masculine. And in some cases, Divine Masculine, if he had recently connected again to Divine Feminine, he had this. I feel like he had this assumption or image of Divine Feminine that she is still the way she used to be. Like she is still sensitive or fragile or um, she needs me, right? But once he's met the Divine Feminine recently, I feel like if he has met the Divine Feminine recently, he would have seen that she has changed. And he would have felt it energetically too because he's at low vibrational energy. He's still working on himself. But Divine Feminine has tied in her, not only her energetic level, but her abilities have heightened as well too. She's more in tuned with the Divine. And this has taken the Divine Masculine off guard. And now it's kind of like, I feel that the vision I'm getting for Divine Masculine is like a turtle coming out of his shell. And he, when he saw the Divine Feminine, he just went back. He hid back into his shell because he couldn't take the energy of Divine Feminine. He couldn't face the Divine Feminine. And that turtle is still at a slow pace. Slow movement. The Divine Feminine has surpassed the Divine Masculine. This Divine Masculine at one time was very overconfident that they thought that they had some, somehow they had one up over the Divine Feminine. Like they were better in some way next to the Divine Feminine. It was something having to do with ego. But now, this Divine Masculine has to accept, now that he's faced 
And it's not that he has to physically face the divine feminine. He senses it, that there's something different. Why is divine feminine not reaching out to me anymore? Why is she not constantly texting me? Why is divine feminine not emailing me? Where is divine feminine at this time? Because divine masculine automatically assumed that divine feminine, no matter what, if I turn around, she's right there. Night or day, she is right there. He took divine feminine for granted. I see here that divine feminine has stepped in her strength. And a lot of divine feminines are about to step into the 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 strength of the divine feminine power. Like there's going to be balance. Some there are some divine feminines out there who are still not sure. They want to, they want that strength within them. They want to transform. But know this, you are being protected. Angels are watching you. They're protecting you. They're giving you this time to build your self-confidence, to build your strength, to build the power within you, to become the best version of yourself. You can do this because I see, I see divine feminine. There are some divine feminine still in that cocoon. The transformation is happening. You may not feel it, but it's happening within you. Okay? You have the strength within you. And I see that it's going to take a little bit, a little bit time to, to tra transform yourself, but it will happen. There, your life will change. I see there's changes happening here. I see there's going to be good luck coming to the Divine Feminine, wh whether it be the home life, whether it be family life. I see that there's going to be um, somebody reaching out to the Divine Feminine here. I'm not sure who is going to be reaching out to the Divine Feminine, but it's really going to be something good. It could be even a family member, a close friend, something like that. Someone who you didn't expect. It's unexpectedly that's going to happen. But this is a very good reading. There's transformation happening here. Just keep holding your faith. Keep moving forward. Your life will be transformed at this time. Just keep working at it, okay? And I hope you like this reading and everyone take care of yourself. And uh, please leave a comment below. Like if you, if you like this reading and like my channel, subscribe. And thank you for watching everyone, okay? Have a great day. Keep safe. Bye.